What is going on guys, it's Ash here, and in this video I'm going to be going over a ton of Destiny 2 information over like the release date and tons of stuff like that because E3 is going on right now and last night a ton of new information dropped about it and today I'm going to be making a video covering pretty much all of it. So if you guys do enjoy this video, if you could hit it up with a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new, it would help me out a ton. But um, yeah, anyways guys, let's go right into this. So first off, there has been quite a bit of dates um, released with Destiny 2 at E3. So probably like one of the most exciting things is that the Destiny 2 beta uh, in the summer is going to be on the 18th if you pre-ordered the game. And if you didn't pre-order the game, there's going to be an open beta for anybody who wants to play. You just download it. And that is going to be on the 21st. So if you guys want to play the beta and you haven't pre-ordered Destiny and you just want to see if you like the game or if it's any good, then on the 21st you're going to be able to download it and play it without having to pre-order the game. As well as that though, the Destiny 2 release date itself has changed from September the 8th, which is what it has been since the game was revealed, or the, re or the release date was revealed, sorry. Um, it's gone from the 8th to the 6th. So it's going to be coming out two days sooner on a Wednesday. So, I mean, it, it went from a Friday to a Wednesday. I'm really not trying to complain or anything, but I would have much rather had the game released on a Friday so I could have got home from school because I'm pretty sure school is going to be starting for me by the 6th. I'm in Canada, so school normally starts around September. So it's going to suck to not have the weekend to play like I would have, but, I mean, it's still exciting that the game's coming out two whole days sooner. So obviously that's going to be a lot more playtime a lot sooner. And the only disappointing date that we have here, which is really, really disappointing for some of you. I mean, this doesn't really affect me at all. But I know, I mean, Destiny 2 now has PC support. It's going to be releasing on the PC. And a lot of people were excited because what, like, it, the settings and stuff for it, like the frames per second, the tick rate and all of that stuff, was all based on your PC. So most of it was all uncapped. And it's just going to be a much smoother experience compared to console. And a lot of people were excited for that, especially for uh, the Crucible and PvP. And which is why they were going to do PvP. And basically, um, the, it's coming out on October 24th. The game's coming out on the 6th, Bungie. I mean, I get it. You're working on a whole new platform for a whole new game. Like, you guys have never really touched PC before, I don't think, Bungie. But uh, this is ridiculous in my opinion, man. Because like, but by the time it comes out, those people who were wanting to go on PC probably won't even care anymore because like they've just gotten so attached to their new account. They have all their new exotics. They've been playing for a while. I'm sure people are still going to be getting it on PC, a lot of them. But this is just really, really disappointing. Again, it doesn't affect me. I don't even have a PC. But it's definitely some disappointing news to hear. As well as that, though, we have gotten some very, very interesting PlayStation-exclusive content, as well as a new trailer at E3. I will link the trailer in the description. It's a really cool new trailer about the story, like Gaul attacking the tower and all that kind of stuff. And I'll, I'm going to have it linked in the description down below if you guys want to check it out, if you haven't seen it already. But um, there has been some new PlayStation exclusives that were shown. So, um, if you guys don't know, PlayStation has an exclusive deal with Bungie so that they make extra content for PlayStation players. So, Xbox players and PC players are not going to be getting these, which kind of sucks, but I mean, it's kind of dope for us PlayStation players because we're getting extra stuff. So, um, well, one of the most exciting, probably the most exciting thing about this is that we are getting a whole entire exclusive exotic called the Borealis, and this is a exotic sniper that actually can change to all three elements. So arc, solar, and void, all three elements in the game. There might possibly be more, but I, I highly doubt that. But all of the elements in Destiny right now, it can switch between them, arc, solar, and void. It sounds like a very, very powerful sniper in PvE. Like, I mean, I, I really do think that they're gonna, like, gonna have to make it a low impact sniper because having a high impact sniper that can change to all the elements is gonna be really, really strong in PvE. And if they tone the impact down, because normally in PvE you want like high damaging snipers, I think it would be much more balanced. 
balanced, but I, I think either way that this thing's going to be beasts, possibly even in PvP, which is really cool, because if you guys don't know, um, using, like, uh, using an element against a certain element super, so like, say, if you had the sniper on arc, and you're shooting a blade dancer, or, like any arc super, it's going to deal extra damage. So that's going to be extremely cool, and it's a really interesting thing to the game, and this sniper just sounds really, really cool. And this next thing isn't anything crazy from what we've seen before, it's an extra strike, and this is called the Lake of Shadows. So, I mean, it's another strike, strikes aren't really anything special in Destiny, if you're like a Destiny player from the start anyway, it's nothing that we haven't seen before, it's probably just going to be another strike. But it's called Lake of Shadows, and it's really scary to me because it's featuring... The Taken. So why is this scary? I mean, we're getting the Taken returning. To me, this is just kind of saying, hey, like, reskins are back in Destiny 2. And I really, really don't want that. I mean, if if it's not saying that at all, and it's just like the re-returning like, re of the Taken, that, that would be pretty cool. But I really don't want any reskins in this game, because we've had tons of them already in Destiny. As well as that, we also have a ton of new exclusive gear and armor, which looks very, very cool. And we also have a ship called the City Apex, which looks like a really cool ship as well. And again, these are all exclusives, but I don't think that it's anything game-breaking. That sniper might be a little strong, but nothing too crazy. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, if you could hit it up with a like and also subscribe to the channel, it would help me out a ton. But anyways, guys, Cringe Kid is out. It's been Ash, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.